Good evening. This is All India Radio Kohima. I'm Kathalena with the evening news. The headlines BJP inaugurates website and releases ebook on Prime Minister Narendra Modi on his birthday, organizes week long Seva Sapta to mark the occasion. Union Health Minister Dr. Harsh Vardhan says COVID 19 vaccine would be available in the country by early next year. Recovery rate of COVID-19 in Nagalan improves to 76.87% and Director, Center for Gandhian Studies and Research, Nagaland University says Atmanirbha Bharat Mission can transform village economy. Senior BJP leader and Union Minister Prakash Javadekar and Vice President Shyam Jaju today inaugurated a website and released an e-book on Prime Minister Narendra Modi on his birthday. People from several sectors contributed for the e-book. Speaking on the occasion, Javadekar said, People's love and faith in Prime Minister Narendra Modi is increasing day by day. He said, Modi did politics in a different way and he is dedicated to the welfare of every section of society. Meanwhile, welfare activities are being organized across the country to mark Prime Minister Narendra Modi's birthday today. BJP is organizing a week-long Seva Sapta to mark the occasion. Several programs related to cleanliness, distribution of sanitation pads, wheelchairs and social service are being organized from 14th to 20th of this month across the country. President Ramnath Kovin and Vice President M. Venkai Naidu have greeted Prime Minister Narendra Modi on his birthday today. In a tweet, the president said, Modi has presented an ideal of loyalty in India's life values and democratic tradition. In a tweet, Naidu congratulated the Prime Minister for his efforts to take the country to new heights. Nagaland Governor Arun Ravi, Chief Minister Nipu Rio and Deputy Chief Minister Wai Paton extended birthday greetings to Prime Minister Narendra Modi on his 70th birthday today. Governor Ravi in a tweet said, Prime Minister Modi is God's blessings for India. He wished for Modi's long and healthy life and hoped that he will continue to lead the nation to ever greater glory. Chief Minister Nipu Rio tweeted that, Prime Minister Modi's visionary and decisive leadership is instrumental in building and strengthening India's global recognition for transformative reforms. Rio wished Prime Minister Modi a good health, happiness and many more years of dedicated service to the nation. In a tweet, Deputy Chief Minister Wai Paton also wished Prime Minister Modi and said, Under his exemplary leadership, our country continues to grow from strength to strength. Paton prayed that the Almighty bless Prime Minister Modi with a long and healthy life and continue to lead our nation for many years to come. Health and Family Welfare Minister Dr. Harsh Vardhan today expressed the hope that COVID-19 vaccine would be available in the country by early next year. He informed that three vaccine candidates have reached the clinical trial stage of phase 1, 2 and 3. He appealed to the people to adopt social distancing and do gaj ki duri as a social vaccine till the arrival of a vaccine. Replying to a discussion in the Rajya Sabha on COVID-19 pandemic situation in the country, he said an expert committee is working on the development of a vaccine by giving all the necessary support to the various bodies. He said India is working with WHO and other international organizations in the direction of vaccine development. Appreciating the role of COVID warriors in the fight against the pandemic, he said, the Prime Minister has taken every decision with the help of experts and the government try to solve every issue related to this disease. Recovery rate of COVID-19 in Nagaland improved to 76.87% after 111 recoveries were reported today. The recovered cases include 80 from Dimapur, 30 from Kohima and 1 in Zunuboto. Also, 43 fresh cases of COVID-19 positive have been confirmed today from Dimapur with 24 cases, 18 in Kohima and 1 in Mon which included 35 from trace contacts, 3 each from armed forces and returnees and 2 from frontline workers. With this, the state has now a total of 5,306 cases, out of which 1,193 are active, while 4,079 have recovered from the infection. So far, 10 persons have died due to COVID-19, while 5 deaths were not COVID-related. You're listening to the news from All India Radio, Kohima. 
A recent online survey on mental health and psychosocial well-being in Naglen during COVID-19 pandemic has shown that women and survey respondents having high fear of COVID-19 were found to have significantly higher risk of experiencing insomnia, anxiety, depression, and somatic symptoms. Principal Director Health and Family Welfare Dr. Vizali Zet Shukri in a statement stated that the objective of the study was to assess the prevalence of insomnia, anxiety, depression and somatization, anxiety leading to physical pain, where standard questionnaires were used. He said the study was done with limited scope which only aims to provide a baseline prevalence data of the common mental health conditions in Nagaland during the COVID-19 pandemic. Out of 1,127 respondents, prevalence of clinical insomnia, moderate and severe, was found to be 12%. Prevalence of anxiety and depression was 13.7% and 21.4% respectively, while 31.9% accounts to somatic symptoms, medium, high, very high. Director, Center for Gandhian Studies and Research, Nagaland University, Dr. Temjan Sosang, said that the entire life of Gandhiji was dedicated for the upliftment of the poor and favor self-sufficient village economy. He said this while participating at webinar on Gandhi and Self-Reliant India, organized by Press Information Bureau, Kohima, and Field Outreach Bureau, Kohima, today. Noting that a significant part of our rural population still lives below poverty line and the condition worsened with COVID-19 pandemic, he said, Atmanirbhar Bharat Mission can become a mass movement for the villagers to get freedom from economic deprivation. Dr. Temjan Sosang also added that revival of village industries and rural development are key to the progress of our nation. Director, Press Information Bureau, in fall, Abhishek Dayal, in his keynote address said that many of the recent major government's policies have deep connection with basic principles of Mahatma Gandhi's teachings, stating that one must not forget Gandhiji's teachings to work for the poorest section of the society. Dayal call upon the media to use their platforms to hold discussions and engage people on Gandhian philosophies and ideas. The webinar was attended over 30 officials of seven states of the Northeast Zone, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, media persons and Gandhian experts. The government has said that there is no proposal to drop the civil services aptitude test from the civil services examination conducted by the Union Public Service Commission. This was stated by the Minister of State for Personal, Public Grievances and Pensions, Dr. Jitendra Singh, in a written reply in Rajya Sabha today. He also denied that the government is going to change the examination pattern of civil services, including the replacement of interviews with a psychological test. And officials of Kohima Municipal Committee, all Kohima Municipal Wards Panchayat, Kohima Chamber of Commerce and Industries, and Kohima Smart City has appealed to all those allied departments and associations and organizations in the district to render assistance and join hands towards extending the green line. In a joint meeting held between the officials on 4th of this month, the members extended its appreciation to one and all for donating the potted plants that are being placed all across to facelift the city. The meeting deliberated on the other aspect of maintenance of these potted plants and thanked the KCCI for the appeal issued to its members to not only maintain but also donate plants towards extension of the green line. The meeting also decided that the municipal wards panchayats will appeal to the wards for a similar course of action within their respective jurisdictions and the KMC shall render possible assistance towards the common effort. To end the news, the headlines here again. BJP inaugurates website and releases ebook on Prime Minister Narendra Modi on his birthday, organizes week-long Seva Sapta to mark the occasion, Union Health Minister Dr. Harsh Vardhan says COVID-19 vaccine would be available in the country by early next year. Recovery rate of COVID-19 in Naglin improves to 76.87%. And Director, Center for Gandhian Studies and Research, Naglin University says Atma Nirbhar Bharat Mission can transform village economy. That's all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night. Mm -hmm.